Well, hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Canning Nana. So, I have told you guys that we were going to do the dehydrated mushrooms and make powder out of them, and we have. So, um, I'm going to show you this. These are all the stems that I had left from um, the regular white button mushrooms that I had, the 15, 20 pounds, I think I had 20 pounds of them. Um, and then there are some in here that I just made portobello mushrooms and I had to um, take the stems off of those. So I dehydrated those as well. So those are in here as well. So we're gonna have a little bit of a mixture in here. And I just want to, um, I've had a lot of questions and um, uh, emails about what you do with all of these powders and things. Um, there's a video coming. I know I'm really late um, doing that, you guys, but there's there's been a reason for that. Um, so bear with me. Uh, hang in there. The, the videos are coming, I promise. Um, so a little tip. So when you're doing your mushrooms, um, if you buy them from the store, if you buy them from the farmer's market, wherever you get them, um, if you soak or wash the mushrooms in water prior to dehydrating, they kind of turn a little bit of a gray color um, when you dehydrate them. So if you guys remember when I did the mushrooms, um, when I was canning mushrooms and doing the marinated mushrooms, I put citric acid in the water when I soaked them. That's why. Um, and you can see that none of these have that yucky gray color. They, they, um, they just, they don't look that yucky gray. They look like mushrooms. Um, so you just want to clean your mushrooms. Um, just wipe them with a damp cloth, whatever. If you don't want to soak them, if you don't have citric acid, um, put them in whole if they're small, or you can pre-slice them and they'll turn out just perfect. So what can you use dehydrated mushroom powder for? Well, um, how about soups? Uh, you can add flavor to stews. Risotto is one of my favorites to do. I love risotto, love mushroom risotto. You can add mushroom powder to it and some canned mushrooms or fresh mushrooms if you have it. Oh my goodness, so, so good. You get that deep, deep mushroom flavor. It, it's amazing. Even my husband likes that. Um, and just about anything, add it to casseroles. Um, anything you wanna add some flavor to, especially soups, you can use it as a thickener in soups. It is so good. Also easy to do is making cream of mushroom soup. If you have some powder um, and have a recipe for cream of mushroom soup, it, it's really easy. You can have that all ready to go. Um, a little bit of powdered milk and add some water, um, some dehydrated mushrooms for a little bit of the depth, some vegetables if you wanna do that and you can put together a soup, super, super easy. Okay, so let's get started dehydrate or uh, not dehydrating. They're already dehydrated. It's one of those days. Um, let's get started grinding these up into powder. Just gonna put a little bit in here at a time. Oops, get in there. And I'm only gonna show you once or twice how to do this because it's it's not too loud, but you guys don't want to see this part. You want to see the finished part product, right? Okay, so let's go. And this grinder. Um, I will put the link in the description box. It's just a $20 grinder. Uh, it's a coffee grinder, spice grinder, and it works amazingly well. Okay. Take it off. You get all that nice powder. It's all over the lid as well. Okay, let's open our jar. Ooh, okay. Want to make sure that that is good enough. Okay, so we're gonna put this on here. I'm telling you, you guys, it's been one of those days. The wind is blowing. Make that, sure that that's in frame. Okay. Okay. There you go. Put all that in there like that. And I didn't have a clear jar. But this is what it looks like. Now, you want to make sure that your mushrooms are completely dehydrated, no uh, liquid or, or no moisture, sorry, left in it, as well as this. So 
um, when you grind from dehydrated, um, it tends to get a little bit of a little bit clumpy if you grind it too much it's going to add a little bit of moisture in there from the air so you want to make sure that your powder is nice and light and powdery that's what you're looking for before you seal it make sure that that's what you have I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of this right here and then I will show you the end result okay you guys want to take you guys in really close this is the end result so I got about half of a jar this is a half pint and that's what it looks like so it's nice and powdery look at that nice and powdery and that's what you want and I am just going to put the lid on here and seal it up and that's it and it smells amazing oh my goodness smells amazing okay so thank you for watching the word of the day for this video is going to be mushroom powder. If you have tried it, let me know. Um, if you haven't, let me know if you want to try it um, and what you would do with it. Comment the word of the day below, mushroom powder, in the comment section. Please subscribe, like the video, and please share. It helps my channel grow and it helps the YouTube algorithm push my videos out there more so that other people can learn as well. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos.